hands down, easiest milk bath ever. Hey weirdos, welcome back. I'm so excited you're here. I know that it's Mother's Day weekend coming up and I have the perfect Manny. Wait till you guys see this color. So I got this package from Everly Nails. Rebecca, the owner of Everly, is someone very dear to my heart. I enjoy her friendship very much. And when she sent me these two colors, I was pretty excited. She had been talking to me for a while about creating this milk bath dip. And I've done a milk bath maybe one time in the past and it was beautiful. I'll leave um, maybe a photo and I'll, the video up in the cards. It's aged. It's a little older. It's one of my, you know, OG videos, if you will. But nevertheless, very beautiful. However, if you have done a milk bath mani before, especially if you had to take the time, <laughs> as I did in that video, to cut up a whole menagerie of dried flowers and figure out a way to add them to your mani, it can be a little complicated. But Miss Rebecca at Everly Nails has done the impossible and she created this color, which contains within itself. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I'm being dramatic, but super, I'm super impressed. Um, it contains dried flowers, dried cherry blossoms, matter of factly. And I could not wait to see what this looked like on the nail. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this set. I'm going to leave videos up in the cards for you guys of both manis on my hands in case you are curious. And we're going to see how this works. Because in my mind, and I did apply peel base just so you guys know. I'll leave a super detailed like start to finish peel base thing, <laughs> if you will, up in the cards for you guys. I am going to put this into a cupcake liner because I want to make sure that I lay my finger flat into this powder so the flowers, you know, adhere better, I guess. And in my mind, as I was about to say, the dried flowers can be kind of crunchy, you know? And I wasn't sure if they would lay flat or they look a little big. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Admittedly, I was a bit hesitant, but wait till you see how this turns out, you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. And I'm kind of kicking myself now that I didn't do this color on all of my nails, but she did send me a color to go with it. And I had asked her about it. I'm like, what, what do you think would go with this? She's like, I got you. Don't worry. I got it. And she sent me this pink color to go with it. And I couldn't have planned this more perfectly myself. I'm super, super impressed. So I'm going in with my sparkle and coal liquids as I have been doing for the last few months. If you are new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. I am Marla Christ. <laughs> um, I do mostly dip powder stuff, but I will leave a video up in the cards also of my, I guess, second impression of the Sparkle & Co. dip liquids. But now here's my first dip into this color. And I have to say, when I dipped in at first, I was a little less than impressed. I'm like, all right, I got like one petal, one was sticking up, it was kind of awkward, but this is one of those situations where you have to trust the process and wait till you see. I mean, you guys saw the finished Manny already because I don't like to hold anything back. I wanna make sure you guys know what you're getting into. <laughs> and this was stunningly beautiful. I don't think that if I had the dried cherry blossoms apart from the liquid, the liquid, the powder, you know what I'm saying? Like separate, I don't think I could have done a better job in placing the flowers in this mani, they came out beautiful, beautiful. And dried flowers, what? <laughs> I don't know what kind of sorcery. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy how she created this, but I'm here for it. And I don't even wanna know. I don't wanna know, don't tell me because I'm, I'm just happy being ignorant in this whole creation process. This is why I don't make my own dip powders and I won't ever because <laughs> I don't want to know. It's too complicated for me. I don't know the math and the science and the stuff. I just know how to get it on. That's what she said. So I'm going to get on a second dip. I always do two layers of dip and this color was going to be no exception. I wanted to make sure I had full coverage, full opacity and strength to my nail. So I'm going in with dip number two. That original flower that was sticking up a little stuck right down when I put the base over top. And here's how it's looking. And yes, I have something hanging off my nail. It is a flower and I'm going to leave it like that. I didn't want to disturb it and like wreck the whole thing. So I'm going to leave it alone for right now 
And then when I do my clear encapsulation and I activate, you're gonna see in the end, cause I'm gonna file and buff off camera, but you're gonna see it filed away beautifully. And it's not like foil or glitter where you have that risk of like cutting into it. It's gonna turn silver and look weird. Not an issue with the dried flowers. They still look like flowers, <laughs> which I appreciated. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on my ring nail because I wanted two. I wanted two little flower accent nails. And like I said, even though I wanted to do all five, after I saw how this came out, I'm like, can I just do all five? But I wanted to do a coordinating mani, a coordinating mani, a coord what? A coordinating color. That's what I was looking for. Now this step that I'm doing right now is completely and totally 100% optional, but I decided I had a little bit of kind of open space in that top corner of my mani. So I wanted to place a few smaller petals and one of, I don't know if it's like a stamen or a, a I don't know, flowers, <laughs> some part of the flower um, that was long and narrow. So I wanted to get that in there too. And again, this is one of those manis, much like a chunky glitter, but less complicated and for me, less cumbersome than a chunky glitter. I love, you know, flakies have my heart. This was more like the ease of a flaky dip, but the customizationable <laughs> something of a chunky glitter. So I went ahead and placed a few of those pieces where I wanted them and you can do as much or as little as you want. And that's how it's looking so far. I realize it doesn't look right, you know, like much right now, but when we do our clear encapsulation and top coat, world of difference, absolute world of difference, the clarity and you can see the definition of the petals. I'm gonna try at the end to get super zoomed in and close up so you can see just how gorgeous it really is. I just poured my powder back into the jar. No waste for me because Moon Valley will be getting a little bit more use, a lot of it more use. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with Mary and get her on the rest of my nails. I'm gonna speed through this application because it is super simple. It's my regular basic application. And if you check out that, um, very long and detailed like start to finish video you'll get a better idea of my application process why i do what i do and how to troubleshoot certain issues if you're a beginner i would highly advise you check that video out so i'm going to get on this coordinating color which is called mary and mary is stunning i'm not usually a pink girl most of the time it's just it's not that i have anything against pink <laughs> I don't. I think pink is pretty. But for some reason, on my skin tone, unless it's a super cool toned pink, it doesn't work for my, my skin, you know? But this pink and the shimmer, you guys will see. You will see. <laughs> and you don't, I mean, you could do what you want. Obviously, if you have a pink that you prefer, pair it with that. Pair it with a solid white if you want to. You could do whatever it is that is in your heart to do. But I really appreciated that Rebecca took the time to pick out a, you know, a complimentary color for my Manny. So that's what we're going to do. While I'm getting this gorgeous pink shade on my nails, I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about Mother's Day. So do you guys have plans? Do you like have traditions that you like to do on Mother's Day? I don't have anything planned. I try not to make a big deal out of it. I know that perhaps it should be a big deal, but I got to I'm going to be honest and tell you that I appreciate my kids very much and the way that they are just as themselves every single day. My kids are absolutely amazing and I personally don't need a day where they appreciate me because they genuinely show their appreciation for me every single day. I know they have something up their sleeves. I just, I know it because that's the way they are. But do I expect anything? No. My mom, uh, I have two moms, in case you are new. I have my biological mom and my adopted mom. Neither of them live close to me. My adopted mom lives in New York and my bio mom lives in Oklahoma. So it's not feasible to be with either of them, especially right now during the panini, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. We're just going to hang out, maybe grab some food. The one thing I don't want to do on Mother's Day is cook. <laughs> so we'll go out to eat probably, you know, grab something for lunch and then maybe go out to dinner. Um, but that's about it. You guys got to comment down below. Let me know what you guys like to do with your moms or with your kids for Mother's Day. I went through a period of time 
this is going back years and years and my whole thing for mother's day was <laughs> judge me not but i'm like i don't want to be with the kids on mother's day <laughs> i'm like can i have a day off on mother's day is that selfish but as the kids have gotten older and as my mentality has changed because i was i was young when i had my babies i had my first kid when i was i was just before i turned 23 like literally a week before i turned 23 so i was i was pretty young and not very educated or mature in my mind so now of course i love spending time with my kids i love doing a lot of stuff with my kids so times have changed and i will be hanging out with them that day and who knows what we'll do there's always an adventure with three teenagers well my little one's not quite a teen yet uh she just turned 12 but close enough you know it's technically three teens if you will so let me know down below what you guys have planned for mother's day weekend with that i'm gonna finish up my general application let you guys hang out for a minute and i will come back for my final thoughts as if you didn't know them already stick around
So as you can see, these filed up beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and get into my top coat routine. While I was gone, <laughs> I had a conversation with my son and my son expressed interest in me doing his nails. And I think it's because, well, you know, it's like super trendy right now. Guys are getting more into getting their nails done, which I think is amazing. And one of his friends, we hung out with him a couple of weeks ago and he had his nails painted and we, it was a conversation we had about it. And so now my son's like, maybe you can do my nails. So comment down below if you would like to see a video of me doing my son's nails. And if you would want to hear him do a voiceover with me, cause I'm telling you, my son is 16. <laughs> He's about to be um, a junior in high school next year. And this kid is hilarious. I know every mom says that about their kids, but, but it, mine's true. <laughs> now, I don't know if he's going to let me do dip powder on him. Maybe you guys could convince him. <laughs> if you guys can convince my son to let me do dip powder on him, because I think he's open to polish, but I don't know if he's open to dip. You guys will have to vote. Vote down in the comments. Let me know what you want to see on my son's nails. And he's teetering back and forth between black, blue, or red. His favorite color is red. He's like obsessed with red. I'm not sure how I feel about red nail. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of red nails on myself anyway, but you gotta vote down below. Vote down below, let me know, and I'm gonna show him. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna see. I mean, I, I know I'm, I've, I book out very far in advance. I think I'm booked with videos about three months, three and a half months in advance right now. So you may not see it until sometime this summer. But if we can convince him to let me do it and film it, believe I will get that video up for you guys. So definitely comment down below and let me know. I am finishing up my top coat routine just using my Sparkle & Co Glossy 2.0 per usual. If you guys are curious about what I have on on my nails like under the dip powder because i've gotten a lot of questions about that over the last couple of months filming with this particular foundation it's literally just two dips of igel beauty medium pink over my natural nails and that's it <laughs> that's just what protects my nails in between sets if you will because sometimes i only have a set on for a few days and i don't film you know, for a few days after that. And I don't want to walk around with naked nails and risk them breaking on me. So I keep the medium pink on 24 seven and I fill it in as I go. If you are curious about how to do a fill in, check out that big long video that I mentioned earlier. It's got all of that info in it. So this is a finished Manny. I could not be happier with the way this came out. Look at that milk bath nail. Can you even? And they're flat. They're not bulky. They're not thick. They're beautiful. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Rebecca, you done good. You done good, girl. I am super happy with this one. I'm going to go ahead and finish up with my Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil. Like I always do, I'm using Sweetie Pop. I go back and forth between so many fragrances, but this one is so like spring, summer. For me, it's like summer because I'm in Florida and it's already 90 degrees outside. And I can't think of a better thing on a 90 degree summer day than a nice cold ice pop. And that's exactly what this smells like. It smells like those, you know, red, white, and blue popsicles. They remind me of the 4th of July. I love it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I would, I'm gonna leave all the info down in the box on the milk bath dip, the, you know, pink color that I'm wearing and everything else that I used in the video, including the palette you see sitting right there. It's adorable and she's so talented check that out if you are in need of some pellets. But thanks so much for hanging out. I hope that you have an outstanding Mother's Day weekend and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.